the thing that probably pains me the most is, is I look at Glenn Beck like a brother. And I know that this, just the article saying I was re, just re-examining everything and what was at stake, I know that, that that was something very difficult for Glenn to take. It was difficult for me to come to. Uh, I had a buddy of mine get back recently from training uh, some, of the, uh, some of the soldiers' Delta Force, and he explained it this way. He said what we're looking at in the Clinton versus Trump is certain death with Clinton and extreme danger with Trump. And when it comes down to those choices, this buddy of mine, real tough, very wise, patriotic guy said, between certain death and extreme danger, I'll take extreme danger every time. What do you say to those people who say, well, standing on principle, though, Brad, means something. I I mean, if you're going to stand on principle, maybe it won't cure cancer, but you've stood on principle. What do you tell those people? Because you're getting some heat from the people who were on your side Um, previously. Absolutely. I'm getting a lot of heat uh, in all directions. So the people that were mad at me for being never Trump, they they don't want me now. It's fine. I looked at my wife and I looked at my kids in particular, and I said, principles, I said to myself, principles are very, very important. But why am I going to sacrifice the Supreme Court in the freedoms that I've enjoyed? I'm a steward of this republic. My allegiance is to liberty. So if I'm looking at two different ports and Hillary's setting up her cannons in port A and she wants to sink every ship full of liberty that comes in versus Trump, who may sink my ships, or maybe he'll leave them alone for four years. Maybe Trump Mm -hmm. will do some of the stuff he said. I I don't know. I don't trust Trump. But I know that I've got a sliver of a chance. Maybe it's a maybe. If it doesn't work out, I don't see myself being any worse off than in a Hillary Clinton administration.